All right, y'all, we're back in another video. We're back in another reaction. We're here with the Chicago Sky on Minnesota Lynx on the Lord's Sunday. September 1st on the Lord's Sunday. Chicago is on a five-game losing streak. I don't know what to expect. Would it, uh, would, I don't know what to expect with a game versus Minnesota. I didn't watch the game. So with that being said, let's get into it. As the calendar flips to September, the Lynx have just it's a change for Minnesota with Alana Smith unavailable. Angel okay. Reese and Camilla Cardoso, the rookies in Dallas. It was so we still ain't got no Kennedy Park. Okay. Total this season. Let's see how this turns out. Which collection is I've been saying this. Look, I've been saying this for a while. If Kennedy Carter is not playing, it's like they're a whole different team. They have to learn how to win without Kennedy Carter. Because if not, yeah. A turnover. There's your defense on the opening possession of Courtney Williams. Yes, two zero. You never know what the crowd is going to be like. Rachel. I also know the Fever play corner, today, so we'll check stops. them out too. Misses the we'll check that game out too. The lob to Dorka. Trying to get around Cardoso. What a move from Dorka. You guys had a beautiful finish. See, this is what I want to see. That's what I want to see more of. Last game. Her stat should never happen again. There is no way a third overall pick in the draft is shooting four times in a game. So, Camilla Cardoso. She had as many free throws as field goals. That should never happen. Gets the shot Especially with a top three in, a pick that 7-1. Give her the ball. Get the See what I'm saying? Cardoso. Like, this should be... She... No. Oh. She should have bare minimum four to seven touches a quarter, not four shots an entire game. At least four to seven touches a quarter. Allen, the former Lynx point guard, takes the shot. A little more offensive. Look at him. I mean, she didn't get the rebound, but look. Okay. So it's twelve to four, Chicago. What is what's going on? Why is the score 12 to 4 in the first quarter? That's already a red flag. What are we doing? Offense, more threes, That's more a movement on this offense. Really fit her style and she's Rachel. made it up with the fourth in the WNBA in her three point part of this Lynx team and she's just got a great personality, everyone's favorite. Cardoso travel. Yeah. And it's been a much she cleaner start to this game this she afternoon have to force and that, that has got to make the coach happy. Fourteen to four in the first Collier quarter. Is on her. It is outside the three-point line. Cardoso misses, gets her own. Okay. She's doing a really great job in the start. That's what we one. should be no seeing. A lot more of. Down low. Link's got to get That's into that. Ride. That's going to happen. Here's Lindsay Allen. Takes the bump. Picks up Yuhas. And Real fast. Yuhas uh, yeah, yeah. has in height. Hines Allen has in strength and physical. Bigs of Chicago. Carlton gets free and hits a jump. Chicago trying to make a little game. comeback. It's 18 to 10. It's a little more one-sided for the sky. There's Cardoso with it. Oh, yes. Carlton hard. Oh, it's okay, though, because you know why they gave her the ball. There's Cardoso he is 7-3. Give her the ball. Like, who is stopping her? I've been saying this all year. There be no reason... X, Twitter, whatever you want to call it, should be saying free Cardoso. She's not even getting the ball. That should never happen. And that was the first Cardoso should be getting the ball at least four to eight touches a quarter. There we go. Look at that. That was just, that, was, that pass was just nasty. Oh, I'm sorry. Collier lost the defender, Reese. Oh, I was about to say, was why, why did Reese fall? What happened? Looking for just six points so far off those five turnovers. Looking for just six points so far off those five turnovers. Collier lost the defender, Reese. But Shields was called for a flagrant one last Sunday. They have no turnovers. The three -pointer. McBride on her. Uh, Minnesota. That? I'm not skipping past this. What was this? What? Diamond to shield. What is this? Why are you throwing a cross court pass 
You could have threw it to Angel Reese. You could have threw it here and then threw it there for a three. Why are you trying to zip it fast? One, two, three, four players. Why? Stolen by Why? What? Why? McBride. And there we go. Oh, that's a real score, fifty-two to six. Will set a new record. What happened? Single season record in the WNBA. A sixth will set a new record. Cardoso. And there's a rebound to Reese that will tie the single season record in the WNBA. A sixth will set a new record. Cardoso. W Reese for breaking record still, even though they're on a five-game losing streak. W Reese. But not the I told you she's 7'5. Who was scoring on her? Just put her arm straight in the air. Nobody's scoring on her. On season long, their ability to make adjustments and for players to be able to accept and be able to take the conversation. Work it out there. Work it out there. She's getting Heidemann, kicks it out. Hines Allen drives to the hoop and it rolls around. That's crazy. Bit of a slow end to this first quarter. Cardoso takes her second free throw. 55. To shield with the block on the Zana Lassini shots and Heidemann. Oh, a double dribble on to shield. The Zana Lassini 55 to shield with the block on the Zana Lassini. To shield with the block on the Zana Lassini. Nah, she did double dribble. <laughs> she did. She dribbled, picked it up, and dribbled again. She definitely double dribbled. It was there. I seen it. Hey, she tried to be slick with it too. That was that was a double dribble. It was. Zandalasini lead pass to Collier. Okay. Uh, bottling up Cardoso on that missed shot. Yeah, this guy needs to eight. players to loosen their offense up a little. Ten. Carlton Friday night in that loss at Dallas has been real shooting the ball well. Is it 20 points Friday night against Indiana? That's her season high. It was her season high by five. It's really stepped up in Indiana. Yuha's on the feed from Collier. Couldn't finish. Gets it back. Puts it up and in. The loose ball foul. Got to be. Off the miss. A second chance. Good, good extra pass. They're down eight. Heidemann finds herself alone and T hits the three. Who's talking? And I bet we would have some fascinating conversations. The drive. And using their physicality to get there. Those are at fmsc.org slash volunteer. And operating the offense from deep behind the three point line. Now, Onion Wedding into the lane. Good, tough take. Three. Three. Nice Two. Two. Three. Two. Three. Two. Three. Two. Three. Three. Two. 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 Onion Wedi works her way in after it and her strength. And it's just a rare skill to have. And it's been incredible to watch this season. See? The lob is just a good. rare skill to have. And she's it's seven been four. To watch Give her the ball. Season. The lob to she know what she's doing. Just give her the ball. Her son is for the Warriors. The NFL season will be back. He is too tall not to be shooting the ball. At least three feet in. A lot of time together. I mean, obviously, as teammates, but also off the court. A lot of time together. I mean, obviously, as teammates, but all Lisa Collier spent a lot of time together. I mean, obviously, as teammates, but no, also off the court. Relation, because she's that she got the block crazy. to complete frustration. Take her out. She got the three fouls. Let's go to Alex. Well, to you she let me bottle that. Carlton offensive board. McBride will try it, and McBucket. 11 points for Kayla McBride, the first Lynx player into double figures. Lindsay Ed Courtney Williams sneaking through, getting the shot off and in. Allen gets it into Onion Wede. Shot Good shot. In. 
Michaela going into the third quarter. Somehow from first to second quarter because Cardoso had 12 points in the first quarter, but she only had two in the second. She's already got two in the third. She, she's going to get her points. It's, it's hard to completely stop her. Williams with a good take. Courtney Williams has drawn job in this game. Williams with a good take. She's going to get her points. It's, it's hard to completely stop her. Williams with a good take. Courtney Williams. That was a dangerous pass. This game of using everything she has to pull through the paint. I don't know if she tried to like fake throw it at her or bring the ball over her head. I don't know. Cause from this angle, it looked like she tried She's to fouled. fake fake throw it at her. Ninth all time in the WNBA, 607. And she was walking off the court, but in that second quarter, they started to get a little bit sloppy. And then I assume that is an offensive rebound. There's another one for sure. Reese again. Just to paint to get the space. It's wild. It's, it's, it's super important to hear the criticism. Well, yeah, she misses the third shot to just get her own rebound. So, we've seen a lot of free throws already here in this third quarter. It's going to be a lot of skipping. <laughs> a lot of fast forward. I want to see these free throws. BB? Got to skip past these. That's what I like. Turnovers make it 17, Courtney Williams. It's all good, though. And there's an angel we'll get some fast forward free throws. That is the fourth of the game. And Reese, angel good take, Reese guys. offensive rebound. See, this is the Reese I know. Not the Reese that's scoring seven points all the way leading to the last two minutes of the fourth quarter. I mean, where they would have layup. Your turn. Courtney Williams making things three pointers in the first half. Double text on Nitty. The play. McBride okay. The Evans. McBride picks her up. De Shields. The drive and the finger roll. Diamond De Shields. Kid, the experience of a lifetime. Visit ticketsforkids.org. McBride. Quick release. this game this afternoon. And another one rolls in for Mike. Santa Lucini right off her hip to Shields. Delay. Coast to coast for Diamond. Yeah, I'm down 13. Oh, yeah, bro. Y'all got to tee up, bro. Yeah. Working through yeah. The defense. This is what I want to see. There a long time. See this bag work? This is what Reese I want to see. Nah, we got to watch this two more time. times. His, there's times where she'll do this, right? This that bag work that I want to see. I don't want to see her on top of the key turn into LeBron. Give me the ball. Put that Meg the Stallion on her. It, 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 that's all game. Literally. All game. In 32 games, it's the most by far in the WNBA. You feel me like it's fucked. But Maisha Hines Allen just doing exactly... <laughs> you see what I'm saying? You see, you see what I'm saying? Like, if you're going to take it on top of the key, I don't want to see you put your head down and turn into LeBron yet. You got to graduate to that. It's level to this. Because right now, just fall. What's this? Hold. LT. L2. Get in the post animation. Just like this. Put that Meg on her and, 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 and one. They wouldn't have lost five straight games. See, that's what I want to see more of. There you go. An athletic move. Yeah. Reese, yeah. Nah, rewind that. Shields. That's what I want to see. Aggression. That's the. Now, see, this is the angel I want to see. Not this this uh narrative of Angel Reese can't make a three foot layup. That's what I want to see more of. Her being aggressive and making the layup. Look at her. That's what I want to see. Is the most she's had. And again, Still skipping past these free throws. So though. That's what I want to see. Who is this? Evans, Dana Evans, left 
Shot, Dana Evans. It's a two-point game now. See, y'all shouldn't have lost five straight games like that. That's ridiculous. Good take, Diamond to Shields. I got y'all want to win. Courtney Williams gets to her spot and mm. hits her shots. Misses, especially, not especially, exactly since the Olympic break. No, Again, did she go under the screen? Not especially, exactly since. Oh, you gotta go over the screen. The Olympic break. That's why. Again, especially the when they're in their spot. You gotta go over the screen. Under. Evans. Cardoso in that. traffic. Automatic. Right. Some chemistry on the court together. Pocket pass, McBride to Yuhas. The kick out to Carlton. Big three pointer. First. At least they made her think twice about shooting that layup. And five attempts. Floater. It's my type of floater. It's a three point game. McBride is there. Collier. Put on the line. It's a long two, but it's a big two. Corrected to a two pointer. Reese. Around Collier and Collier's calling for the hook. Reese. Around Collier and Collier's calling for the hook and gets 17 points. But it's a big two corrected to a two pointer. Reese. Around Collier and Collier. I ain't calling that, but I guess. I thought they called out of bounds. I'm like, where is she out of bounds at? Of course, you know, that's the NBA move. How many mid range is she gonna make? Looking like Sean Livingston. Okay. I mean, she done made about three in a row. In mid range. Now it's a good play. Now it's a good play. Camilla has to stick to her, her, uh, her uh, woman right here. She can't be trying to overhelp, and that's why. That's why you don't overhelp. Let Dana Evans deal with that. Cause I don't even know if she would have made it or not really, anyway, really but it led to two points. So dangerous. Williams off the dribble, and she is. It's not as dressed. Why is she playing like Shaw Livingston? That's four mid-range shots she made in a row. Easy work. That was easy. It's a five-point game. And they look at Cardoso. Good extra pass. Very simple basketball. Very simple. Courtney Williams has been the best shot. And continues to be. She just tied her season high. Turnovers. Cardoso checks. My gosh, man. Supposed to do? Oh my goodness! Six straight. I don't know. I don't know what to say. Let's check box scores. Check box score. All right, let's look at Chicago first. I just see that they, that they play the. Vegas Aces again. Yeah, they. Anyway, let's talk about this first. On your way, they with 15. Okay, that's solid. Reese played the whole game. And she almost had 20 rebounds and 17 points. See, this is acceptable. If you're going to shoot this many times, you have to score. She almost had another 20-20. And she has 17 points and 19 rebounds. The fouls got to cut down. You got to cut down these turnovers. But this is a very, this, this is a, a good stat line for her position. Excellent stat line. Cardoso could have got one more rebound. 22 points. See, see if they would have had Kennedy Carter, they probably would have won the game. No, they wouldn't have won this game. If they had Kennedy Carter, they would have won. Because this goose egg right here is nasty work. This is Cardi. This is MVP cardio stats. Sixteen point. Uh, Sixteen minutes, no points. 
This is elite level cardio. 16 minutes of running. Lindsay Allen, 33 minutes of running with six points. Yeah. If Kennedy was here, they would have won. Because if Cardoso's playing like this and she actually got the ball and scored 22, this is what, see that free Cardoso shouldn't even be happening if she was getting the ball. She shouldn't be shooting four times a game. Like, that's ridiculous. But, dang, one more rebound. You got to donate a rebound or something. I understand you get all the boards, but donate one. Let a sister hold a rebound. Let a Brazilian sister hold one of these boards. Sorry, though, but yeah, other than that, I mean, Dana Evans at eight, the Shields at six, somebody else, you ain't even getting the game. And yeah, they play the Las Vegas Aces next when 2K drop, or at least the pre order drop that same night. Crazy word. Anyway, Lynx, Carlton at eight. Bollinger with 15, Julius with 6, McBride with 20, or 17, and Williams with 22. Yeah, Courtney, she was the one hitting all them Sean Livingston mid-range shots. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know, Kenny Carter going to have to pull out a flu game or some versus the Aces. That would be a get-back game for her, because she hit that game tire, remember? She hit that game tire and then ended up losing because of Asia Wilson. All right, let's check uh, side clips. Anything I didn't make the uh, video. Any other clips? I'm watching. Bro, what is this thumbnail I'm looking at? <laughs> Building. Says double text injuries calms Evans down after nose and nose with Heidman. So Tasha Mack was gonna go crazy. Okay. Heidman finds see. herself alone and T hits the three. Natisha Heidemann drains the second three pointer of the afternoon for the Lynx. And then things are getting a little physical. An intense. It's Dana Evans with Angel Reese trying to calm her down. Then they're back. There's the talking right there. We can't see what happened in between the shot, but there's the push. Oh, yeah. A little back and forth, a little bit of heat, isn't it? <laughs> Take a look at it one more time. There you can. Oh. Let's see the bump. And uh, back and forth between the two. Told they will be assessing technical fouls to each. Okay. I mean, it wasn't nothing there, but all right. Just, just a couple back and forth. And there's one for. Rachel Bantam injured shoulder leaves game. Collier, but another miss. Man, she got hurt. That's the last thing Chicago needs. And there's one for Collier, but another miss. And a scramble for the ball. Rachel Bantam is holding her shoulder. Ooh, oh, Rachel Bantam is in some pain. A scramble for the loose ball. Bantam is still down. Oh. He said, who is? <laughs> I hate to see it. Yeah, that definitely hurt. That's that in shock pain. Here. Big round of applause for Rachel Bannum in this building. Always will be. Yeah, one of the most likable players to have come through here. Played her college, played her high school career and her college career here with the Lynx before going to Connecticut in the offseason. All right. Anything else? No? Yeah, I think like that's about it. Uh, they only shot nine threes. Only made two is crazy. 
twenty-two percent nasty work, but they still got the get, still won the game, got the job done. Yeah, that's about it. Anyways, I said in this video, man, probably losing six, uh, six games straight. It's crazy, but anyway, hopefully they get it together versus the Aces and pull off an upset. If not, it's gonna be seven. It's gonna be tough. Anyways, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. If you do subscribe, I really appreciate it. I'll see you guys in the next video, man.